What's up, YouTube? Cardi from NT21 here, and welcome to another Company of Heroes 1 online gameplay. So, I'm commanding the Wehrmacht. Who else do we have here? We have. Fila? 793 commanding the, Pi the Wehrmacht also, and we have Juicebox commanding the Wehrmacht in the south. <laughs> I always say, uh,. <laughs> We got a British player. Let's take out the fog of war real quickly. We have uh, one British player. We got two British players. We got an American player. <laughs> anyway, so I'm used in this town because I play this map a lot. This is a, ra a very good um, Axis map because if the Axis can hold this island, which is unfairly closer to them, believe it or not. So if they're able to capture and hold this island, they can eventually push through whatever defenses the Americans and the British have. So that's all I need to do. So we're kind of talking about doctrines right now. Anyway, one of the first things I like to do is pretty much cut off this area. I'm going to use it much later in the battle. So we're talking about Volks or MGs. I think um, the great thing about the Germans is that you can actually have MGs faster and snipers. You don't have to build a separate thing. So, the, one of your first steps if you're the Germans on or the Allies on this side is repair this small infantry bridge so you can bring troops, funnel troops across here. Also, try to build some defenses here. I'm going to do that in a little bit, but anyway, the British build defenses there. And look at this immediate attack force. We got engineers, we got infantry section, we got a lieutenant. I don't even have troops across here. So all we got are pioneers, so they're definitely they know this map. They're making an all out rush for this area. Anyway, our and en our enemies are I think it's Winnie, Winnie maybe, Black Baron, and C Douglahan. I think we can actually do where's my favorite mode? Cinematic mode. Here are the US infantry troops fighting on the island. I love cinematic mode. You could I can see anyone making a, a D Day movie of that. So they're shooting back. Anyway, you see my grenadiers coming in in the background. What is this? Is that a lake? Anyway, my grenadiers. Where are my grenadiers? My Volt's grenadiers. My Volt's grenadiers are over here, and they have done what they need to do. They pretty much about. This is why my my steam name. If you're wondering, funnel put me. They've done what they need to do. They've completely secured this island and pushed us back. Now, Snipe down here is building defenses. Juice Box, I just call him Snipe because uh, that was his name before. So, he's building defenses down here. His goal is pretty much block off this path. I'm doing the same here. I want us to focus every single thing on this island right here. My main job is getting MGs in this house to help cover my men. And I'm getting another one to just push these guys off. As you can see, we're now suppressing them. And I'm going to send my Volts Grenadiers across the bridge in a second or two. You can see now they're pinned and he's going to withdraw. We still, however, have... These guys aren't even capturing this. We have engineers. Riflemen are actually the fastest units to capture points, which is that kind of interesting. Anyway, we're all pushing up here. we got three uh, Volts Grenadier squads. I'm kind of pushing and flanking from here. I'm setting a... Uh, these guys are going to kind of blindly see where the enemy is. Kind of be a, a scouter for my MG who's going to set up here. And he's pretty much going to cut off the island and be able to shoot at anyone down there. So his engineers are getting out, getting completely owned. He really needs to get them out of there before you do it. You do not want to lose full units. It's a lot cheaper, especially as the Americans, to not lose whole squads. You need to definitely hit that retreat button. Unit preservation is really big. It's about who can win and lose the battle. And anyway, we're starting to push them off now. They made a great rush attempt for this, and I'll give that to them. And anyway, I dropped my uh, my pioneers. I'm getting a sniper, and I'm pulling these guys out. I want to bring my. Uh, I really want to just kind of fortify this area. After the Germans takes over, you really want to place down some sandbags and put a bunker or two. So we're going to cut off their fuel. Well, it looks like we got a Vickers, and he's building a mortar. This, this map, I've seen the British players do this so many times. They, just either, they build a ton of defenses in the town and stuff, and then you're never going to win that. I mean, if you, the only way to win this map is to hold this fuel area right here. you got to hold the fuel. you got to hold this island. They did a great attempt in trying to push that, but you're not going to win if you don't cut the Germans off from their fuel. If they have one fuel source, and you got one, two, you got two? I mean, that's twice as much fuel. I mean, they're going to have more tanks and stuff, so... 
He's already getting, Black Baron's already getting a supply truck here. He's going to put it near the munitions. Ooh. Nice. It's upgraded with a uh, Bren carrier now. Is it, now is it called? I think it's pretty much called a Bren carrier, but he upgraded with a machine gun. I know that much. And look at us. We're just like building defenses like crazy. And they're trying to mortar us. That's out of range, though. He's also building a casualty clearing station. This is actually a good move by the Black Baron. I mean, it's pretty exposed, but he's getting extra munitions from this. He's getting extra munitions from this, and then he'll be able to upgrade some more of his rifle sections, or his infantry section with Bren's made, which he's already done here. Actually, that's Copenhagen or whatever. <laughs> Copenhagen, what am I doing? Dalagahan or something. Why can this guy's a little bit easier names to pronounce here? And anyway, he's got some sappers coming out. It looks like they're really working together. They have locked this down. They really need to move out. As the British, you gotta move your uh, supply trucks out to these munition things and put them in the towns. You don't want them on this sector here because you're pretty much just increasing your population camp maybe by one. Anyway, I got my sniper up. And I gotta be careful with my sniper because that Bren carry can absolutely slaughter him. But when you just charge your, your Bren carry like that with machine guns, multiple bolts, grenadiers, you're not gonna win that. So I'll, I've done, we've been, done a great job with um, pretty much controlling this island. And I've got some heavy grenade. So this is little grenadiers, actually. We've done a great job so far with actually starting to reinforce and hold this area. I do have a sniper. Maybe I'm trying to... It's a little while ago. I think I'm trying to move down there. Bob, I'm actually clicking my sniper. That's where I think I'm going. Looks like I'm skipping to the creek. I, yeah, that's right. I'm getting. I've upgraded a skirmish phase now, and I'm getting a Krieg barracks. I'll get me access to grenadiers. Oh, look at this! This thing's gonna be a pain. That's gonna give me access to grenadiers. It's gonna give me access to packs. I'm very worried because I know I've played a lot as the British. I'm pretty worried about an early tank coming out this early. Uh, an early tank coming out this early. I'm worried about a tank coming out early and me not having a lot of defenses. And that mortar, they built one further up, which was smart, because this one doesn't really have a lot of range back here. <laughs> My guys came across from like Vickers, mortars, and this cannon. Now, you might want to ask, well, what can you do to counter all these defenses? And you're going to see, I actually got my, I put my sniper over here and he shot someone. He just managed to get the hell out of there. So, a great thing to do to counter these British defenses is get terror. You're going to need a V1 rocket to blow up these defenses on this side, especially when they're this close. And firestorms will be very helpful. So save up your munitions and you need, you need to do that. Anyway, these guys are trying to... This is one guy here, heavily wounds, trying to build a bunker. And I honestly might lose that. Then she spots going, don't bunch up. And look at this. Oh, that my, my engineer just died. Piney. Look at all these guys bunch up. The, these the, This is like the prime spot for those mortars. <laughs> I think I just lost someone else. I lost one of my machine gunners. It's always good to talk to your allies. And I have gone for Terror here, as I was suggesting earlier. He's already got a pack, which is good. I'm getting a mortar. I kind of want to mortar fire back at them. <laughs> counter, counter artillery. Anyway, no movement has been done here. I got some tank traps. I'm not too worried. I don't think the British are very concerned either. I wonder what that encircle means. I'm not in. I'm by far not an expert on this game, but I think the circle. Hmm, I wonder what that means. I don't think. Ah, okay. I'm sorry. This is in this sector technically, and it's boosting up the, the fuel they're getting. Anyway, he just manned an MG, and I just lost more pioneers. I'm desperate to finish this damn bunker. We're also getting some more mortars. I just need to finish this bunker. Get an MG set up there. I got plenty of munitions. But yeah, they're bombing us, and I'm, I'm just sending more and more pioneers, and they're just getting killed, and it just sucks. Um, anyway, when they do that early assault, they're actually trying to blow us up. It's got, like, no health. I'm actually setting up on a bridge, which isn't the best idea, but I just want to shoot back at them. Let's see where that's going, actually. Is it, I think these explosives are landing around here. Yeah, but honestly, these mortars are pretty tough to pull out. So we're both going Terra Doctrine. That'll give us double the fire storms. And with these Brits bunched up like this, I don't know what I suggest. When the Axis have this, I mean, they're doing a great job putting a lot of pressure on here. But all I need to do is this another mortar. 
how many mortars we got? Wow, he's trying to really trying to shoot back. We're very weak right now. We're very susceptible to a push. I mean, if they push right now, we're in deep trouble. I'm getting a cam crop, a comp crop center, comp crop. And what this will allow me to do is veteran up my troops. So I'm gonna start veteraning up my infantry. You know, apparently I've never done this before, but I should really be vetting up some of my support units when I have extra time or extra uh, resources to spare, because that'd really help out. We already got an early Hellcat. Look at this. I just upgraded to assault phase. So I can now get a Stug Armory, which I'll do in good time. Anyway, we got the mortar coming. I should really have some more troops up here, but I don't. Our sniper's being uh, stealthy. Because I got zero kills. I'm worried they might try to attack here. You also don't want too many troops on this island. Like, you want enough troops to be able to defend, but you don't want too many. And you can see we're kind of sitting back here just out of their mortar range. We got a Hellcat coming out. See, as the Americans, if you do your... You can completely skip the motor pool, which is what this guy did. Oh, Winnie. And look at this. They're building a 25-pounder. You can pretty much skip the motor pool and go right to tanks. You can get tanks before the Germans. Just got my veteran infantry there. Keeping a sniper here. I'm really worried about them trying to... Usually, usually they don't, but I'm really worried they're going to try to push across here. Because I have very little defenses. Anyway, they're shooting back at me with mortars, but I'm not too worried. Anyway, I got my MGs back here. We've almost completely left the island. If they were to rush right now with everything they have, um, we just heard artillery. We can't see this. Okay, yeah, we can't see this, but we kind of, we know something's there. So they're blasting all around this area. <laughs> We're very close to be losing to losing this island right here. So I'm just pretty much escalating everybody and get, starting to get some better. And actually, I'm bringing my tanks right now. Even though I don't have a tank, I don't have a Stug armor yet. Am I gonna build one? I feel like I am. And they're just blowing the hell out of us right now. Just gonna try to shoot back with no warfers. And here's a Goliath. That's 125 munitions. I would not recommend Goliaths just yet. He's, oh, looks like we got the uh, the Stuka half-track. I think I'm going to get some of that later. I think this is the first match I actually use that in. Unbelievable. They're actually shooting at that from all the way over there. They're getting another artillery. They're just going to pound this whole area. The question is, can this get anywhere? I think it's going to blow up. Yeah. So this is an AA gun and an anti-personnel gun. These can actually be quite devastating to infantry. So we don't really have much of a play right now to stop these guys. And they could pretty much just overwhelm this island. I'm going right to a Panzer Command, actually, with the assault phase here. I'm going to double speed it as nothing's really happening. We'll just keep watching this area. So we're getting bombed to hell. That's pretty much what's happening. Do you see all that artillery going in? It's like a death trap right here. Anyway, I'm getting my first panther. They're still bombing me. Yeah, nothing much is happening over here. It looks like they're now bombing over here. They have their own gun here. Anyway, juice box or snipe is telling them to rush for tanks. That's what I'm already doing. Still getting bombed. Looks like these guys built another artillery nest over there, like I said before. We have been now. Uh, Looks like we got another wave of Americans. I was able to... We were able to repair this bridge. I was able to run some infantry across. And this guy's actually going to make it. We were able to call a firestorm on this artillery. Because we really want to get this... We want to blow up this gun. We do not want this gun here for long. Because these artilleries can be very devastating. Especially with like three of them. Like they're spamming. That's all Black Barons doing. I said please don't art spam me. That's exactly what he did. But that's how some British players um, play. I don't own the bridge, I really don't. Like one or two at the max. I guess you call like three to five a spam. Kinda depends on your definition. Yeah, looks like we've got our Neville Warfer. <laughs> Ready to shoot back at these uh these Brits. Unfortunately they're gonna be able to repair that. Anyway, I just rushed up my Panther who's veteran C2 by the way. Cause I don't really have anything that can stop this right now. They have a bunch of mortars. 
I'm just trying to shoot this, uh, kind of cover this for my infantry. They do have artillery, which it looks like they're now focusing right on my panther. Now they're focusing around my panther, but I'm just, I'm just gonna move up, because I'm really not afraid if I lose this. I have plenty of man, well, I don't have plenty of manpower. This would be great loss if I did, but I'm level, this is a veteran C2 tiger tank. I should really do with their lieutenant. Let's see if they actually... He has the munitions right now. What did he, he didn't even pick a doctor yet. You should really go... Oh, we got the firestorm raining and also. What you should really do is call one of his guys with the, uh, the British artillery that's different from the howitzer right on these guys. And I could, uh, he could do a lot of damage right there. And with the firestorm, we did blow up another mortar. This thing's still here. This captain's burning up. Anyway, I've caused enough damage. I haven't, he's going mobile, I've also caused him to back off. But guess what I found? Two Hellcats. <laughs> Time to back the frig up. Anyway, my ally Stug is right here, and I'm kind of like, uh, we're getting bombed to hell. Get back. So I'm desperately trying to get this guy out of here. We got two Hellcats. Unfortunately, I got, got a damaged engine. Or destroyed engine. He doesn't even have an engine, and he's going to go out of control, so I'm going to lose that. But losing one panther was worth the cost, I think, because I was able to take out a lot of their defenses. And more importantly, we were able to call in our firestorms directly on directly on these guys. You can now unleash your firestorm so we blew up their truck. There's a guy kind of sitting there. He's gone now. We blew up their cannon here. We blew up a mortar. We're going right after these guys. These guys don't have sticky grenades. Anyway, that just got blown up, so <laughs> the British play the artillery war, we'll play it just just back, but we'll be better at it. <laughs> so we pretty much just blew up the area. They don't really have an answer to our... I mean, they don't really have an answer to any of our tanks right now, so we're just taking advantage of that. No sticky grenades. They do have two Hellcats, though. But I think one got blown up. Nope, he's got three Hellcats now. He's kind of sitting at his base. He should really move those up, because this is his only answer. I got another Panther, so I don't have a lot right now, but my guys are upgraded pretty pretty heavily. What do I have? Prince just got an MG. Where's my sniper? Ah, oh, yes. So the, I see that this unit has like one man left, so I'm just going to snipe him out. Finally going to use... Oh, he's got blown up. I want to destroy the American units. Anyway, he's, he's pretty much sniping them from this, this side. This guy don't... This guy's actually part of the squad up here, which is kind of funny. He's all on his own. So my sniper's like, well, if your squad's up here, we'll take you out. Anyway, he's going right after. This thing has a destroyed gun that's out of control, so that's done. Calling another firestorm, and that's my firestorm this time, right on the tanks. Mostly to take out the mortar and uh, cut off the escape route for this British truck. And I will get it, I believe. Boom. So when you lose your trucks as the British, not good. Anyway, I'm moving up with my infantry now that I've forced that retreat. No no infantry can come up quickly unless I want to get blown up by the uh, or burned to death by that artillery. They still got a bunch of artillery back here. I wonder I was asking what doctor he should choose. Anyway, I got my other panther up here. He's kinda ready. So take I'm just gonna provide support against these British troops. We do not want any defenses going up. And they built an artillery right here. Oh, and they're bombing the hell on me. So, this is position 6, this is position 5, this is position 4 um, on the map. And I call position 6 the hot seat because you've got a bridge right here you got to protect yourself from. And you also have the island here. And I'm in the hot seat a little bit too because artillery always blows the hell out of my base. <laughs> it's kind of funny. The, this is a very popular British map. I mean, I'm kind of moving my guys in. I really should give them MP40s, but the reason I'm not is because I'm using saving all for firestorms. So I'm just going to spot going to spot this artillery for the uh, the firestorm for snipe. Let's see what our ally is. Feel uh, he did not pick a doctor yet. What do we go? We want armor for Winnie. No doctor yet for him. Black Baron, no doctor yet either. So we're able to use our Stukas um, right on these half tracks. Or this, they have to have a half track. Well, that was a firestorm, I think. I thought we had a. Fascinating. You know, I'm just able to move up the Panther and destroy their artillery. Artillery is 400 manpower and a lot of fuel. 
So we got four Hellcats going to take out my tank, and I don't think I'm going to get this thing out of here, to be honest. Just trying to destroy the, uh, the triage center. You don't want to build it. You want to build it your trio center somewhere closer to your base. The medic station, the trio center should really be switched here. So I think uh, Fila moved up his uh, Panzer IV to take on four Hellcats so I could uh, get this guy out of here. But they're, do they're very smart about their artillery right here. They're putting it where my Panther needs to go. So I might actually lose it on the retreat. And he goes right through the artillery barrage. So that Panzer IV just got killed. Anyway, they're building more defenses on here. I mean, we haven't seen very much infantry from this guy. What does he have? He has like two infantry sections and some engineers. That's it. The rest is just defenses. Oh, I'm sorry, he's a lieutenant and a captain. Vickers machine gun, cannon, and an AT. Is he shooting at me still? Yeah. He's still firing at me. Fascinating. Yes, yeah, so he's still shooting at me and kind of blowing me to hell. That's me what happens. They're going to try to blow up my base. And believe it or not, once this building's down, even if you have all your other buildings up, you can't build anything. So you get some engineers. And we're thinking about building a repair bunker on this island here. But I'm just, I just pulled that panther back for repairs. This guy has a lot of armor right now. Hmm. This artillery is so good. Looks like he's building machine gun nests. So my sniper is going to be stealthy and sneak across over here. He's only got four kills. I mean, compared, in, in company here is to at least the, the the beta stress test. It showed you how effective, combat effectiveness your units were. And this sniper so far has not paid off. He's only got four kills and he's 300 manpower. I think it's 360 manpower for a sniper. Maybe a little bit wrong. It's 280 for Volks Grenadiers, about 300 for Grenadiers, and 250 for machine guns. He's playing machine gun here. He's really just trying to block us out here. He should be trying to repair his trio center. He's also using field repairs right now when none of his tanks are injured. Now, field repairs can be a great thing, but when your guys aren't injured, don't use them. That's 150 munitions. He, oh, I can see he has a ton of munitions, but I don't want to use that, to be honest, for um, Allied War Machine, which will replace your losses. And I'm telling you, this was a lucky hit because... I think, I swore they had a sniper or something over here. Because they were able to suddenly see all, all our tanks getting repaired right there. That was a lucky guess. Let's see. They don't... Oh, that's my that's my sniper. That's right. I'm building sandbags here. going to try to make a little position on this side of the river. But they don't have anything over here. So I don't know how... I guess that's just a lucky guess. You can see these guys. They're really fortifying this bridge. Placing mines down, and it's going to be a tough fight. That's it. And we both agree the snipers in the island. Yeah, we're repairing the uh, the panther here. Yeah, we swore they had a sniper on that island because that was really a, a lucky shot. But I got my guy observing over here. I, I told them to help hold fire when they're in calm, what it's called, camouflage. They can hold fire and not shoot. And Company Heroes 2 actually, I'll actually start snapping these guys, I think, because I don't want them building the machine gun. Yeah, in Company Heroes 2, snipers are actually not camouflage unless they're in some sort of cover. So if he was in this crater or something, I mean, it's realistic. Right. If a sniper's in the middle of the open and he shoots one of your guys, you're not going to not see him. So, I mean, if he's in cover in a bush or in a crater or something, that'd, that'd make more sense. I think I'm getting ready to start prepping some of my men to start moving out, but they got two chevrons on them right now, too. The firestorm comes down. We're determined to blow up any defenses they have. This is a hot seat for the, the Allied Alliance here. I've been in this seat before. It's very, very hard because your allies are kind of safer up here. Anyway, we're, we're kind of coordinating an attack, so we got my tanks. We have snipes tanks back here so we got a full out assault and look we got three we got a bunch of panthers like this is going to be the rush to win the, the battle here everybody like 
not make that many Panthers to stop us. No, I mean, they got like what? Five Hellcats? This is like a tank battle for the war. What's kind of mean is these allies here, Black Baron and um, Dullahan, is they totally cut off their ally. They're like, well, you can get destroyed by the Germans. No big deal. Enemy unit down. So we're trying to blow this up. Somehow my guy went down here. I don't know why. But then I lost my Panther here. We're getting shot to pieces. Our grand attack is kind of working, but... I mean, we're losing a lot of Panthers. I called my Firestorm in there. I was very happy with that. Uh, yeah, I called it right there. That, or that was, was that me? That might have been me, but Firestorms are so devastating. Anyway, we pretty much destroyed all their the allied armor here. We see a brave medic bringing back his American comrade. And we started calling uh, these Firestorms everywhere. We got a V1 coming in some way. I remember it was something like right here. Oh, I missed it. Oh, it's right here anyway. It just blew the hell out of any defenses there. Is that a medic? I don't know. I thought they had a medic station somewhere. Oh, there's the medic. This is mine. I remember I put mine somewhere around here. We gotta see a V1. V1s are very fun. I did actually lose this to artillery. Oh, I blew up their uh, area. So our grand attack has left me without anything. Got a sniper, engineers, and an MG crew up here that I've forgotten about. So I pretty much lost everything. Making some more Panthers. I'm going to make two more, though. My focus is pretty much armor right now. So this guy's base, he's in deep trouble. Who are those cool guys? M1 Grands and the medics huddling in the rain. Asking why are they not on the other side of the river? Why can't they be allowed to retreat or be the Soviets? I'm going to keep my sniper around here. Just so we kind of know where the artillery is. And I'm actually going to save up. I'm going to call a firestorm in probably around here. To uh, get rid of this artillery here. It's kind of funny how the panther like half comes out and then all of a sudden it's like out. It's a little weird thing. Anyway, nothing's really happening. So let's double speed it right now. They're still blasting us. Yes, this is what juice box had. This is a power track with a Stuka. I mean, sorry, it's a rocket. I'm pretty sure... It's something with a, a Stuka or something like that. But better to see three Panthers. I mean, you can have field repairs, but you're not going to win with one Hellcat. They do work well in numbers. Looks like you went right for a Pershing. I'm try to get a Pershing. Anyway, I'm starting to blow up this area, because I think I'm going to try to make a push eventually on that side. I'm not quite sure. i played so many of these different matches, I forget what I, I do. Anyway, we're going to take this point away from them. They're going after one of our munitions points. By the way, when you put two units to capture a point, it won't help you catch it, capture it any faster. My sniper's still down here. I'm surprised. Oh, this is an AT gun. That's why it's not. It hasn't been firing. It's high explosive shells, but it is watching the bridge. And look at my tank, he's like, AT gun, I'm not afraid of it. He actually turned to try to shoot that panther in the back, but... This panther will take it out. So goes those burst benches. They don't have a lot over here, to be honest. I mean, they got anti-tank and anti-infantry. Another howitzer. I mean, if you can just push whoever player is here back... And it doesn't matter how many defenses they have. If you just go tear with the V1s and you have a lot of munitions and stuff, you should be getting a Pershing right now. And this is a beast of a tank. This is like a panther killer for the allies. Pershings are awesome. But against outnumbered against Vector's three tanks, not so good. And these guys are all repaired. I think there's a repair bunker. Maybe. It's not a repair... Yeah, I think that's a repair bunker. It should be a repair bunker, because these little tracks on top plants a repair bunker. They do repair your uh, vehicles, you don't need to have engineers to automatically do it. Anyway, my sniper got briefly spotted, because I think he tried to shoot at the tank. Anyway, I'm going to run away from Pershing. I'm still kind of bombing this area. I actually... Let me go to my thing real quick. I'm actually kind of proud of what I, I did. Do I have it yet? Never mind. 
I mean, I'm getting my sniper. This is key. I'm kind of scared the infantry is going to come. But we see a firestorm. That was a failure. My sniper like needs to jump out of the way. I should really have done it like around here. I want to do it around here. So if they if they're a new player, like oh, actually that just worked. See if they try to withdraw their men like you just did, they're gonna run right through the flames and stand on them and burn up. So if you put your firestorm around the enemy base where they retreat to, then they can't retreat and they have to click. Because you you think you're in a firestorm, you're just gonna run and click the route button and retreat. Most armors killed five men. I'm pretty much using it for spawning. Anyway, we got a bunch of tanks still. And slowly the American player's starting to lose his base. Usually the supply yard now, he can't get any more tanks. I might save enough for my V1. It takes a while to reload the V1, because if you could just pop those things out left and right, it'd be really cheap. So anyway, nothing's really happening. Looks like another attack is going in. A suicide attack with the Panzer IV. He doesn't see the Pershing right there. And pretty much he's going to get blasted by everything the British have. Blown up completely. Let's build another triage center. I'm getting ready for a push in the southern flank here. I'm actually putting up some sandbags so we can have some cover if the American infantry charge. But I'm getting ready for a push there. We got a bunch of Panthers on this island. All veterans see three. These are a snipe and my other ally. And we got some MP40s coming in. Do not try to take on the Pershing with Panther Shrinks. Pershings with Panzer Shrinks. I mean, you know, a Pershing has tough enough armor that the Panzer Shrinks will only do a lot. The only thing you use Grenadiers for is Panzer Shrinks here. I'm sorry, Panzer Faust is what they shot. Panzer Shrink is like the bazooka that's in their hand right here. My guys have a... You can't see it. But these guys have a machine gun. Okay, these guys have a machine gun there, anti infantry. You can make them either anti tank or anti infantry. I think they're still bombing my base. But we're bombing them back and their positions. The great thing about the German Neville Werfer and other devices, or other uh, kind of their half tracks can shoot uh, those rockets at, at you, is they can move. And these British defenses are, are stable. They're uh, stationary, they can't actually. Anyway, I just shot somebody. <laughs> Alright, they're building a motor pool and I shot that and then it blew up. Now he's not very happy I just shot this guy who was building a motor pool, so he's gonna come after my sniper. But he's gonna run into bazookas, grenadiers, and two panthers. And these guys in heavy cover, you can see the MG42 right there in his hand. There's Buzzsaw, he's shredding through the imagery that do come up, so he's kind of in trouble. We have really pushed these guys off. The British are just building more defenses. Man, this isn't gonna actually really care. <laughs> and Black Baron says I'm done with this and quit. That's a good game. Out of all the people to quit, you really think that it would be this guy. So now that the AI is back, they're gonna kinda go bonsai and not do this campy thingy. Camp thing. And they're gonna run their priest right at our Panthers, which is gonna be a fun show. These are just recon elements. Once again, if they have SMGs, really don't try to charge them. He is bringing the Brents in, though. And these units do need to retreat or they risk being overwhelmed by Brents. They are low on health, so they do need to go back to their center and retreat. Looks like I got three Panthers, and we're definitely going to take on his rears as well. So he's two for his rear armor. The Pershing is going to go. Now would be a great time to pop field repairs, but I don't think he has that yet. He doesn't have field repairs. I mean, he has field repairs, I'm sorry, he's using that to it. He needs an uh, allied war machine. And I set my grenadiers up to start dealing with them, but that machine gun is suppressing them. Everyone's veteran C3, so I have a smaller force, but very deadly. I think we have a V1 coming in, that is mine. I think it's around here. Did I miss it? Oh, no, I didn't. Good, that's what a V1 looks like, everybody. I just pretty much wiped out four buildings. Anyway, the priests are coming out. I think the AI doesn't know that they're actually artillery. And so... He just has his base and... For all intents and when he's dead, he's nothing left, really. And then these priests and stuff, like... Why would you bring them so far up? And still trying to bomb our base. But my pandas will gladly take out this priest. 
My sniper has done a good job. I guess he's got eight people. We're just gonna level this base and we'll keep moving on. Someone launched a propaganda war. Was it me? Maybe it was to cost him the British retreat. Now, do you see how these guys are walking in uh, neutral enemy territory? You need a lieutenant to make them go faster. Um, these guys died inside the bunker. They just kept blowing it up. So that was our repair bunker, actually, so that wasn't good. We really shouldn't be retreating with this amount of armor. Because my armor's all the way up here and exposed, but they don't really have any armor to come attack us with. They do have a Sherman Firefly, they do have a command. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, it is a command tank. That gives you a bonus for other tanks around the area, I think. Um, it also gets bedded up with the more kills your tanks get around it, so it can actually get a smoke barrage. I think it might actually have that, but I just, I'm very new to the command tank. I actually just got one last night. I'll definitely show you guys that battle in the future. I'm just getting someone up here today for coming here. It has been about two weeks. This is kind of like my unofficial videos, I want to say. Like, I play company heroes, but I'm mainly doing my campaigns. And that's part of my guy's torso. So those great grand ears got blown up. Sometimes this game is like brutal. But you know what? That's war. So these uh, British comrades once again carrying their American comrades back. Now, this guy is quit. Saying nothing. And the American base is destroyed. So we just have computers. So they're going to come on with their stewards and whatnot. We're going to blow them up. And that's pretty much all the Allies had. It's just this, uh, this force here. And then the Panthers come in and pretty much just blow them up. You can see the massacre on the bridge. Just firestorms, burning vehicles. I think these guys are surrendering for a second. My guys are badly being up though, so we definitely need some more tanks coming in. These should not be all the way back here. Because the AIs are not going to just stop and sit back. But, I got all my Panzers lined up. We're ready to do this. They actually picked up a Panzer Shrek. <laughs> Fascinating. But I got my guys with MGs. I'm worried that I left this. I can't see this guy's base. I'm worried that I left his base and that he's going to grab something. Start repairing his base. But that's not the case. That's why I'm rushing over there just in case you guys were wondering. Yeah, the AI doesn't know how to use the priest. Anyway, we're just going to hold them with our Panthers as you can clearly see with our MGs. We got Grenadiers and stuff to assist. You know, he, he never did really try to rebuild his base. The bridge just got pretty much blown up and wasted by the heavier German armor. We did lose some units due to the British artillery. I think I... Did I... That was the last round when we we hit someone. They uh, is it around here? Oh, huh. yeah. We're continuing to push these guys back. The only reason we're still fighting the AI is because that guy didn't surrender down here. He's pretty much been blown off the map. I'm just gonna triple speed this one eight times, and that's pretty much all. I was in the game. Just with the superior firepower, with triple, uh, with, um, very bad in tanks, we're gonna blow these guys up. Completely. Even the Panthers aren't very good against any of these. This extra armor, you know, they will just blast anything. And then when he quit. So good game to those guys. Um, definitely on this map, you really need to grab this fuel. You need to hold this island, and you'll be able to defeat the Germans. If you start holding down here and they have the fuel, they will eventually overwhelm you with Veteran C3 tanks, like we did to these guys. If you're the British, try to build your base up here. Build one or two artillery. Don't build more than that. Don't go crazy on defenses. You want to go heavy on your infantry and try to get to your armored command as quickly as possible to counter any German tanks. Anyway, calling you two once I've enjoyed this um, post commentary playback of Company of Heroes. Calling you two once I've enjoyed.